Okay. This mushroom, we want to know about this mushroom because um, we tell people that it's not edible. This is Boletus sensibilis or sensibilis. Take your pick, potato, potato. And what we do is we smell this one. It can have a bright, rosy red cap, or it can have a dull, kind of brownish tan with a little bit of red in it. It smells like fenugreek or curry. Got two little ones there. Zach eats this with no ill effects. He takes the tube layer off. And what we want to look for with this one is a really dark stain on the pore surface, like a blue, like that. And also the flesh stains blue. Sometimes it stains blue quickly, sometimes not so quickly. Um, but we tell people in the club here, don't eat it. Because there's enough reportage of people having bad uh, gastrointestinal effects from it, where we say that as a matter of course. If you want to be brave, like Zach, and try it, you're on your own. I didn't tell you to do that. You did that on your own. Um, the rest of the bolletes, the one we look for the most at this time of year is this guy right here, bicolor. And this is the one that we caution people, don't confuse this one for this one. Although it may not be such a big deal. But Boletus bicolor stains blue on the tubes. It's two colored, red and yellow. It's always stains on the tube, always. Very seldom what stains. What does that mean, stains on the tube? What's that? What does it mean, stains on the tube? It means when I rub my nice knife over the mouth of the pore surface, it turns color, stains. When you cut it and you look at a boletus bicolor like this, this delicious edible bole is no longer edible. Why? Wormy. Worms, maggots, maggot mothers laid their eggs on the ground next to this when it was a baby. The little maggot babies crawled up the cap. Another good way to tell bicolor is to cut the stem. Keep cutting the stem and you'll see the little now, see, no maggot trails. If there was maggots in this one, there'd be little red dots where the maggot went up the stem. That's what you want to find. No maggot trails in the stem. Ed, Ed, used to, Ed Bosman used to teach us that all those bug trails inside were red. With were bicolor. red, with right. bicolor, right. yeah. <laughs> so that's really a nice edible, and it, it may be the most common bully in Connecticut. When it's out, there's tons and tons of it. I dry it. Um, I use it all year to make rice and soups and stews. It reconstitutes very nicely and it has a nice flavor. There's lots of really weird Is there a